Hey, this is Steve Stearns from Pure Health 365, and thanks for being here for another Health Tip Tuesday. This week I'm doing something a little different. I'm pre-recording the presentation so that I can be there with you watching it and be a little bit more interactive. So let's get right into it. Okay, so tonight we're gonna to learn how to keep your immune system strong during the cold and flu season, and stay tuned for the end because I have five immune boosting recipes that are gonna help you eat well and feel well this cold and flu season. So just in case we haven't met before, my name is Steve Stearns. I live in Maine with my wife, Melissa, and our daughter, and I'm a natural health and fitness advocate. I absolutely love doing stuff outside, like fat biking and disc golf, that sort of thing, and I'm passionate about helping you look and feel your best naturally as a lifestyle. So if you're interested in that, Follow me at stevesterns365.com. Okay, so before we go too far, let's talk about what is your immune system. So your immune system is your always present invisible shield helping to protect you from various disease-causing microorganisms. It's a pretty complex system. And while boosting it sounds like a smart idea, that ability has been difficult for researchers to nail down and there's some debate about that. The good news is there are simple lifestyle changes that you can make to support your immune system, and that's what we're gonna talk about tonight. So the first thing that you can do is keep your hands clean. That helps to prevent the spread of germs that can attack your immune system. So wash your hands before eating, after blowing your nose, going to the bathroom, petting an animal, or visiting with someone who's sick. To do a real thorough job, it should take about 20 seconds, which is the equivalent of one verse of happy birthday. Tip two, get plenty of sleep. Sleep deprivation suppresses immune system function. According to WebMD, studies have shown that T cells go down when you're sleep deprived and inflammatory cytokines go up, which leave you more susceptible to cold and flu. Tip three is to maintain a healthy weight. Excess belly fat can tip the scale and disrupt the balance of your immune system. Fat, and especially belly fat, triggers the production of pro-inflammatory immune cells which promote inflammation throughout the body. Additionally, studies have shown that overweight or obese people's immune cells don't respond adequately to foreign invaders. Tip four is to exercise daily, which obviously will help you maintain a healthy weight too. Exercising gets your body moving and it gets your heart and blood pumping, so your white blood cells and immune cells get where they need to be. Exercise also helps reduce your stress, which is another factor that can negatively impact your immune system. And tip five is to eat a healthy diet. If your diet currently consists of sodas or other sugary foods and drinks, you're not doing all you can to support your immune system. In fact, sugar can suppress your immune system and impair your defenses against infectious disease. To keep your immune system healthy, eat a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, and avoid processed and sugary foods. Sounds like good advice to me. So there you have five easy things that you can do, lifestyle changes, to help boost and support your immune system. One of the very best things you can do is just adopt a healthy lifestyle, and that's what I teach you to do in our 30 Days to Healthy Living Challenge. And you can find out more about that in my private Facebook group, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Pure Health 365. The group is absolutely free, and in fact, in there this week, I give you a free PDF with five immune-boosting recipes that you'll absolutely love. You can eat well and feel well through the cold and flu season. And while you're in the group, make sure you check out the 30 Days to Healthy Living Challenge. Dr. Tanda Cook breaks it all down, makes it really simple, and you're going to learn how this can help you reach your health goals. You're going to look better and feel better than you have in years. So make sure you visit facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Pure Health 365. So that's it for this week's Health Tip Tuesday. I hope you got some value from that and the lifestyle changes that you can make to boost your immune system. I'll be back next Tuesday at 7.30 for another Health Tip Tuesday. I'll see you then.